Hey friends. Down here by the creek. Oh, let me turn this way. Oh. Oop. Oop. Oh, God. Nope. Got some people who are gonna kayak, it looks like. I'm here on a rock. Big old rock. Um this might have been a bridge a long time ago, I'm not sure. All right, so <laughs> random thought while running um, because I was on the upper trail up this, on top of this uh, mountain behind me. And I hadn't been up there in a while. Well, I mean, we got a lot of rain, so it got kind of overgrown. Um, there's definitely some poison ivy and jagger bushes and stuff that looks like poison ivy but might not be um and stinging nettles so oh uh, anyway i'm uh, just trying to figure out how to get down i forgot how i got up here <laughs> um run brain oh you ever get run brain i can't think and run i guess i kind of do but i don't you understand, I'm sure. Okay. Let's get this run back on. I only have a mile left to go. Okay, anyway, back to my question. Um, you know, the stinging nettles, stuff like that on the trail. If I see a patch, I'll point it out. I know they're all through here. Um, what is the worst thing to you know run into or fall into on the trail there's all sorts of hazards out there as far as plants and things go so what would be the worst thing um luckily here we don't have cactus just dismissed a spam call. Um, so cactus stinging nettles. What do you got? What would be the worst thing? Let me know in the comment section. Um, luckily, I have not fallen into or like ran into anything. Um, which is good. I I did leap over some stinging nettles today and just being very mindful that they're out there. Just doing five miles today. Um, I should probably be doing more miles. Motivated, but I'm not motivated. I'm still in a huge funk from what happened at Glacier Ridge Ultra. I mean, I just feel like I busted my butt for nothing. Here's stinging nettles. So I feel like Steve Irwin here. Each of these leaves and all the stems. Hopefully that zoomed in for you. That focused. Those are all stingers. And they're very fine, like hairs. Uh, so if you even brush against it, it's pretty bad. Uh, but you can actually, you can eat them. Uh, if you cook them uh, in some water and you know, they're pretty good for you. Um, it looks, it's like kale. They have all sorts of health benefits. You should look them up. 
Um, okay. Anyways, so I'm, I just feel like with the Glacier Ridge thing, I worked so hard to get to a point and uh, it was just taken out from under me. And I just feel like I'm trying to get my footing. I want to do more, but I also don't feel like it at the same time. Um, so, I don't know. It's just, it's hard. And I go back and forth and I know no one wants to hear the complaining and stuff. Just shut up, work harder. You know, that's kind of how I feel about it, honestly. But you know, I just gotta, gotta do some more healing. See, these stinging nettles are huge. And things like to live in them. So we have like a daddy long leg. Like they're very good for the bugs and stuff because they can just hide in them and be protected because nobody wants to go there. Oh. That wasn't there. Now I know there's another one down, uh, further down. We had a, a storm come through yesterday. It was really windy. Uh, I didn't go out running yesterday. I didn't have anything scheduled either. Uh, so. I like this section. I'm not even not even running and it's a really good section to just fly through. Oh boy. Well, I'm gonna use the rest of this run to kind of gather my thoughts because as you could tell I've been thinking about a lot of stuff uh, it's all good though it's all good we'll get through so another big tree came down uh, hmm how are we going to get through this one oh I just went through a spider web whoa Nelly oh my goodness Poor tree. Ah, flies biting me. Oh my goodness. Wow. Whoa, look at all the helicopter seeds. Holy cow. All right. Oh, maybe I'll keep the video on. It's interesting. All right. As far as motivation goes, I was thinking about doing a, uh, an, FKT, an FKT. I've been talking about it just to my husband and coach. I guess it would be nice. Um, what's not nice about it, though, is that I really wanted that uh, supported... Oh, look at all the stinging nettles hanging over. They just want to get you. It was, it was going to be really nice to have that supported 50 miler under my belt since being injured last year at Laurel Highlands. Um, and then I wanted to do my FKT unsupported. And it's about 50 miles. And now I'm having doubts about doing it. Uh, because I don't have that 50 miles 
under my belt that I wanted. I mean, essentially Glacier Ridge was going to be a, a training run for me and to see where I'm at with that distance. Um, so one of the, that's one of the reasons why I'm really upset with how that race went. Ooh, I'm going to cross. Um, <laughs> so, actually, speaking of that, my friend Sean, the host of Trail Tales, a running podcast, reached out to me, and we're talking about setting up a, uh, a meeting soon episode on the several challenges that I've had over the past two and a half years uh, with ultra running. Unless you've followed my journey really closely, uh, you don't know everything I've been through. And uh, so we're going to talk about that and uh, just basically how to overcome things like that. stop here. I don't want to walk past these guys. Um, so yeah, we're going to probably get together and talk about how to overcome um, challenges because for me, it's been, it's been one, one big thing after another since uh, the spring of 2019. So... Um, I actually have not finished an ultra marathon since then. Um, so, yeah. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know, guys. Alright, I'm gonna get going. I'm just standing along the highway. I'm starting to get tired and hungry. And... Oh my god, it's probably waking up from so, have a good week, everyone. I'll see ya.